Hello everyone, welcome to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about Safari on the iPad and the problem is that Safari cannot download a file on iPad. And there are some possible things which could go wrong when this is happening, so I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do to fix it. The very first option, which is kind of obvious, is to make sure that you have the proper internet connection. If you have an iPad which supports cellular, make sure that you have a SIM card installed or not, then just try to make sure that the Wi-Fi is working properly. Now, if you are downloading something from a website in a Safari, it doesn't matter what it is, but in case it's like a PDF file or anything, and if you are on that very specific website, which is showing you the download link, make sure to reload the page like that. So you actually reload it and get to the same page so the link can be refreshed and perhaps something may be changed, perhaps the download link is different or it just suddenly starts working. This happens a lot. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Okay, the next thing what you can do is to get to some kind of VPN. Make sure that if you have a VPN provider set up, just try to use it because some download links may be geo-blocked for whatever reason. And if you have some sort of VPN, by the way, you can get some free ones with ads or as a um, you know, free trial. You can definitely do that. I like the free VPN. I'm not associated with them, but I like this. Uh, app because you can just watch ads and get some credits and use it for a while so that's good and you can try to download that very same file using a vpn so it technically downloaded from a different location so that's uh, an option as well you can definitely try it out to see if anything changes now the next possible thing is that the fault is not even on your side because if you're downloading from a website which is like some of the known websites whatever it is well let's say you're downloading something from dropbox perhaps it's not even your fault that, that something is happening but it could be something going on on the side of dropbox so what you can do is to look up dropbox down detector that means that you can see if people, other people are actually interested in experiencing some some of the problems like you can see here. So users, users can report whether Dropbox is working on their side or not. And if you notice that a lot of people report outages, then you just have to wait and see that, yeah, there are some problems on the side of Dropbox and you don't really have to do a lot. They just have to fix it. Now, the next thing what you can do is to disable iCloud private relay in the settings. Now, it of course depends on which iOS version you have and like there are some uh, things which apply to some iPads and things that don't apply to others, but there is the private relay and there are some things, I mean, you of course have to use it, but this masks your IP address and Safari browsing activity from network providers and website. And you know, this is part of your iCloud Plus subscription, so if you pay for it, you probably should have it there. But if you just have it enabled, try disabling it, because you, sometimes you don't really want to mask your IP address, and in case you're downloading some file, this could prevent you from technically being able to access it. So chances are that this could be the issue as well. Definitely Definitely try it out. If you see that nothing happened, then you can just re-enable it and just continue with your life. Then what you can also do, and that would be a good idea, is to update Safari. And Safari is not an app which you can find in the App Store. If you just look it up right here, you don't find Safari in the App Store. It's just a web browser. You can only just find it in here and open it. But the thing is that you, if you want to update it, all you have to do is to go to the settings and update the entire software on the iPad because this is how you also get the security updates and all of the things which uh, have to do something with the uh, Safari on your iPad. So just update your iPad OS and this in fact will update your Safari by extension. And also at the end of the day, you still have the option to try some different alternatives. So you can just, for example, open up the 
App Store like this and look up Google Chrome. You can download that version or you can just use Microsoft Edge or any other web browser and try to download the very same file, but through a different web browser, which is going to result in you accessing the very same website, but using a different browser. So something could be changed. Perhaps it's just the Safari's fault. So definitely try it out using a different browser. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that you found this useful. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you definitely don't miss the next videos about your iPad, iPhone, and anything that just makes your life easier. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.